Hey guys, it's Tracy from the Center for Traffic Safety coming to you from Bright Bill Transportation. I'm here with Mike Webster, who's a driver for Bright Bill, and Fritzy Schreffler from PennDOT, and Trooper Noel from Troop L. They'll all introduce themselves a little bit um, in depth later, and we'll get started here. All right, so we're gonna be meeting here um, our first speaker. Mike, do you want to introduce yourselves yep. and tell us what you've been up to? I'm Mike Webster. I'm the school bus safety competition winner in the transit division for the state and a national safety competitor where I placed in the top five. And uh, we're out here helping people understand the importance of school bus safety. Okay. So Mike, um, can you tell us what some distractions are for school bus drivers, maybe out on the road, um, in different situations? Yeah, sure. The uh, the most biggest distraction to us is when we're at a school bus stop and we have motorists passing the, the vehicle while we're trying to discharge or load kids. Uh, when we can get all vehicles to stop, uh, it saves time, saves distractions, and hopefully saves child's lives. All right. And can you tell me um, what is one thing that you would like to get across to students as a bus driver? The most important thing for parents to convey to their students is that on the bus they should be quiet and use their inside voice and most importantly stay seating. We just never know what's going to happen on the road and the, the more they stay seated the more safe they will be in an accident. Okay. And how about, um, what, what do you want to get across to drivers on the road? To drivers, I know everybody, nobody wants to stop for a bus, but the quicker you get stopped the quicker we can make sure all students are safe. And these aren't just everybody else's kids, these are our kids too. And we wanna make sure they get to the right spot and be safe. And if they can get stopped and we get our kids to a safe spot, we can get moving a lot quicker. Good, all right, thank you, Mike. So now we have Fritzy Schreffler from PennDOT. Um, Fritzy, can you give us a couple safety tips for um, motorists and for the children in and around the bus? All right, well, one of the things that's really important to look at is the stop bar that's right here. This is for the kids' safety, not the motorist's safety. You want to make sure you're out this far because you want to make sure that that bus driver can see you. If you're right in front of the bus, there's no guarantee that they can see you. The next thing you want to notice is the red lights here. They're going to go amber first, then they're going to go red. That red signal is a signal for the motorist to stop. The one other sign that motorists have is this stop sign that's out here. Once you see this sign out with its red flashing lights, that also means that you legally have to stop now. So what does that mean for motorists? What that means is that you're required to stop no less than 10 feet from a school bus. That means if you're at a stop sign, you cannot turn in any direction. You legally are required to stop no matter which direction you're going. The only time you are legally allowed to pass a stop school bus is if there is a physical barrier between you and the bus and you're going in the opposite direction. So a physical barrier would be trees, a concrete median, a grass strip in between you. That does not mean a center turn lane. So if you're on a multi-lane roadway and the school bus has legally stopped, all the red lights flashing, you still are required to stop on the other side of the road, even if you know that there are no children coming from that side of the road. More kids are injured outside the bus than inside the bus. There's a lot of discussion that goes on about compartmentalization and how safe kids are. What you have to realize is millions of children ride a school bus to school every day, and it is so much safer for them than their own parents driving them or their friends driving them to school. Young children, one of the things we worry about with them is they drop something and they go back to pick it up and the bus driver doesn't see them. And sadly, we have had instances where children have been run over. If it goes under the school bus, you wanna leave it there. Parents, please tell your children, leave it there. It's better for you to be upset that, you know, that your backpack was run over or your lunch box was run, box was run over or maybe even your cell phone. Much better than your child being run over. Thank you, Fritzy. Okay, now we have a trooper here from Troop L. Trooper, would you like to introduce yourself? Yes, my name is Trooper Keith Knoll. I'm a patrol trooper assigned to Troop L Jonestown. 
All right, and can you tell me some of your duties at Troop L? Yes, I am a patrol trooper and I also am a vehicle fraud investigator, uh, which entails uh, inspecting school buses over the summer. Okay. Um, so every school bus throughout the whole state gets a Pennsylvania State Police sticker saying it is approved and it meets all the requirements to haul children. Okay. Trooper Noel, can you tell us the laws and penalties there are in Pennsylvania for passing a school bus? Yes, the code in the vehicle section, <clears throat> in the vehicle code, is meeting or overtaking a school bus. Uh, it is punishable with a $250 fine, a 60-day driver license suspension, and five points on your PA driver's license. Okay. Is there any kind of enforcement or anything um, that you do, maybe on a daily basis? to um, enforce this law? Yes, uh, state and local police officers are out throughout the year uh, looking and monitoring uh, school bus stops, um, and that goes on throughout the year, but especially right now, given that school is back in session, so we take an extra uh, time out of our patrol days to observe school buses and schools and school bus stops. All right, thank you, Trooper.